All right, Braden. Uh, how you doing? Hope you're doing okay. I'm getting ready to finish up the school year, and uh, it looks like you're working hard on this project. It's got a great start to it. I love all the math. I love all the randomness. I think that's great. Um, your first question about why this constructor doesn't work it took me a little while to figure out, but um, what I did is, if, if I never showed you this in class, you can click on this and hit toggle breakpoint, and then you can like step through the code. So um, that's how I figured it out. And so I set that breakpoint. The toggle breakpoint, and then I ran the little debug. So I'm not sure if you can see my pointer here, but this little bug up here runs at debug mode. And then um, you can kind of like step through. So there's this step into and step over. And I'm going to step into this and look at what's happening. Whoops, maybe I'm not. Maybe I didn't need to do that. Let's see if I can step return. Sorry, I hit the wrong step thing. Well, I did not want to step into it. Let me try it again. Let's just run it from the top, debugging again. And I'm gonna use just a regular step this time, F6. Okay, and so what I realized when I look at this Braden object, that, um, man, sorry if you can't see this here, but Braden object had two first names. One that you set like the way you wanted and then one that was null, right? And so I was like, man, what the heck? Why is there two first names? So I wanna stop this thing from running here. Go back to my Java perspective up here. And then if I go into coach, the fact that coach extends name generator means it's going to have all the variables and methods from name generator. Okay, and so name generator has a first and last name too. Right, so that means the coach has like duplicate first and last name variables. Okay, so the more I thought about it, you don't really need to extend. Right, like extend means like it, it's an instance of. So like like uh, coach could be the parent class and then uh, like assistant coach could be like a subclass of it or something, but these two aren't really related, right? So I think the best thing to do here would be just take off this part, okay? And then it's gonna complain that it doesn't know these methods. But what I would say for this, since these are just methods that return a name, and there's no like specific data to the name generator. You don't need like multiple name generators. Um, so I would just make this all static. So I would take these off of here. Let's see. Actually, you could leave those there, but um, I would just make everything static. So make this static so that we don't ever have to make an instance of it and make these static methods. So all these are going to do is generate first and last names and then return them in these methods. Okay, so if I do static, static, all right, and then we don't need any of this because we're just generating the first and last name here randomly, and then they'll be stored at the coach. So this just generates them one time, and then we're going to store them here in coach. Okay, so we could just call them statically. So we could do name generator, and then call those methods. All right. And I think um, that should take care of that problem, hopefully. Do, 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 do. New coach. Da, 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 da. Okay, so I figured out. Now I don't have a getting first and last name method. So I should have probably moved them from name generator into coach. So maybe I'm going to put them back. Sorry about that. And then I'm just going to cut them out of here move them to now that we no longer extend now we need those methods here so I'll put them here and then see that seems to fix that error and then custom oh I see so custom oh man so now we're we're not a rabbit hole of changes so custom now needs that first name and last name so oh so that's the player file so Probably would need to go into player and then just do that first and last name method here. I think these are called first and last, so I'll just change to first and last variable. Sorry for all these changes. Okay, let's see if we can actually get it running at this point. All right, no errors. Okay, so I ran it, and it looks like when we're running. We don't get those null, weird null things anymore.
Okay, and then your question about the method, I was a little unsure of that because I wasn't sure how you were calling the method, but um, I thought the way it's set up now is I would probably make an instance of the sim game and then call call this method sim game method right here. So back in the runner, I think what would make the most sense would be that I did a sim game, new sim game. And then I passed in, simulated the game, passing the two teams in, and then I wanted to print out the scores. Uh, however, when I did this, I, it like ran infinitely, and so I looked into it a little bit more inside of sim game. And inside of sim game, like, uh, I think it was this method. Yeah, so these, um, the time never changes. Time is like always greater than zero. So I think in these, one of these methods, you need to have like the time. Oh, wait. So here it is dropping the time. Hmm. Well, I'd have to go back into debug mode and look, because when I run it, it just hangs forever. So let me see if I run this one with that code in there. It's just hanging. So I can see it's still running because it's got this red square here, but it's hanging. So my guess is it's in sort of infinite loop. Um, let me take a look here and see if I can give you a little more feedback on that. Because you are changing time there. Okay, so my guess is on this is we've got to put this, like this is going to be math.random and then truncate it into an int. So it's going to be 0 and then multiply it by 13. So I think we need like the 13 to multiply first, maybe. And same thing here, we need the 50 to multiply first. Otherwise, you're just going to be subtracting 0 each time. So let's see, do we get that kind of method? Anywhere else? So that was sim away drive, sim home drive. Okay, so home drive would definitely need to take off time, or maybe you're just having the time take off here. I'm not sure, but let's see if it'll work now. Oh, so that didn't actually do the scores. Blah blah blah. blah. So sorry, I'm all over the map. I'm making this up as I go. So I need to print out scores. Position zero. Put a space in there. Oh, 60, 60. 52, 52. Well, it's kind of working now. It's getting different scores at least, but they're the same. So, I don't know. You're pretty close. Hopefully that gives you a start. I don't want to give you too much info. I'll let you try to figure it out on your own. Hopefully that made sense. Sorry this guy didn't got long and rambling, but uh, keep coming if you got questions. I can keep making videos like this. Having the code definitely helps for figuring it out. All right, I hope you're doing great, man. Take care.